Well, hello there, Shelly Rocks here. Time for another Kickstarter game. So, this is a game called Crying Sons. It's classed as a roguelite and tactical game. Um, and it's just come out on Kickstarter and they've got a little demo for it. So it's got some features. It's got features space exploration, tactical fights and the deep and dramatic storyline inspired by our favourite sci-fi universe. Foundation, Dune, Battlestar Galactica and it's structured in six chapters. So as it says here, it's an early demo. Work in progress does not represent the final game. Some features are not yet included and bugs can occur. So let's get it on. Ooh. Nice. The future. Humanity has been moved into pods. The drones are controlling us. It's going to be something like that. It looks like there's all clone. Are they clones, maybe, I guess? Clones, or these are my lives. Okay, that's going around checking them all. That's pretty cool. Ooh, there's a spare one on the left then, and that one. Okay, so this is like a floating, a floating city. A game by Alt Shift. I did actually mean to mention that in the beginning. Yeah, the developer is Alt Shift. Wow, look at those like massive cranes. Now, am I going to be on like the the bottom rung? Crying Sons. It's a nice little intro. It's funny how many games nowadays are all... I mean, that's not really like that 8-bit, that but a lot of these games are re this retro graphics. It's quite interesting to see how they're all coming back into fashion. Ooh. What's this doing? So is, is this the lowest of the low? <laughs> at the bottom. Is this where the janitors are all made? Yeah, this is this is going to be Shirley Rocks the janitor getting reactivated. Ellie's Idaho. Where where am I? Caliban, a dwarf planet on the outer rim. Most call it Jehanna, if they call it anything at all. But I have a feeling you were asking about our more immediate location, where you just uh, relieved yourself. This Admiral is a top secret cloning facility for the Imperial forces, the one and only of its kind. I am Calabani, its Omni Guardian. A cloning facility? Knowing the soldiers would give their lives again and again for the Empire, if only they could, Emperor Oberon gave them the very opportunity. Lucky for you. I don't understand. You have died, Admiral, or to put it another way, the true version of you has died. You are his clone, identical to the original Admiral Elise Idaho in every possible... Oh, interesting, so I'm actually an Admiral. A clone. I don't feel like a clone. I don't believe a clone would, Admiral. When did I... I mean, when did Admiral Idaho die? How? Unfortunately, I do not know the details of my clone's lives. Extraneous, extraneous to my directives, I believe. Which leads me to why I've woken you. You must be curious after all. I need your help. A machine asking for my help? Now I truly feel strange. Not a machine, Admiral. An omni-mechanical neon N, N intelligence. <laughs> wow, that's a mouthful. Emperor Oberon invented us, and now your kind relies on us for just about everything. But you knew all of that already, didn't you? Your factual memory should be returning. I'm remembering now, yes. Good, so I'll come right out of it, Admiral. The Empire, it's in danger. In danger? What in the name of Oberon are you talking about? Once every four years, under the strictest and most secretive of protocols, I receive a single transmission from the outside world. Those transmissions have stopped arriving. Okay, so you send a transmission to them, simple. That's just it, I can't. The facility was built in such a way to prevent it from initialising contact with the Empire to help keep it a secret. Something's wrong, I know it. Now we must break protocol. Protocol Black, leave this miserable planet and see for ourselves. Ooh, let me get this straight. You've woken me so I can fly out of here and see what's going on. Not quite. I've woken you so that we can fly out of here in an Amiga class battleship and see what's going on. I'm sorry, did you just say we? 
I think you'll find there are advantages to travelling with an Omni Admiral. Such as, my intelligence. I don't want to brag, but I'm probably the smartest Omni in the entire Empire. Top 0.5% definitely. If you're so smart, what do you need me for? Why don't you fly the ship? Seems your factual recall is a tad rusty. Because of Oberon's Rubicon, it prohibits, it prohibits Omnis from piloting battleships. Ah, okay. Plus, since I can assume the clones here are the best of the best, that would make you the best admiral to ever, to ever exist. I'd say you're perfect for this job. Now, I don't want to put pressure on you, but if our wonderful empire really does need my help, I should get going. So, what's it going to be, Admiral? Will you join me or not? If I don't, I terminate this version of you, wake another and ask him. <laughs> I have a unique Rubicon which allows me to consider clones as non-humans. So either I accept this mission or you'll kill me, is that what you're saying? Pretty much, yeah. I'll do it, machine, for Oberon and the Empire. I'll do it for my duty as an em Imperial Admiral. Excellent. Oh, one more thing, Admiral. Standal operating procedure requires I ask. Do you remember anything? I mean, any personal memories? Of course, I remember. Why wouldn't I? If you do me the honour of trying to recall one, any memory will be fine. Fine, machine, but this is ridiculous. Wait, why can't I? Why can't I remember anything? Everything is blurred, broken apart. Don't worry, Admiral. Perfectly normal for this stage. Your personal memories will return, all of them, but you must be patient. And you must tell me the moment they do. It's very important for your safety. Yes, your safety. Do you understand? I understand, machine. Good, let's get started. After all, we have a lot of work to do. And please, Admiral, call me Caliban. Mysterious. I get the impression that there's going to be problems as soon as my personal memory comes back. I think it's going to be problems. I think once I start remembering things, I'll be in trouble. Oh, yes. Other ships are locked. This is my initial ship. Right. So I need to launch. Select your heroes to start. So these are all my upgrades. These must be upgrades I can do later on, but I've not got any points. Okay, I've got different weapons. I've got Fighters Mark 1, I've got Drone Mark 1, I've got Cruiser Mark 1. Now, do I choose one? I think I start with one of each, and I start off with a Piercer Laser. Okay, let's choose my hero then. Okay, so we can go with the Scientist. Repair 4. Battleship battleship life points increase every six seconds. We can go scientist there with repair a critical effect every six seconds. Mm-hmm. We can go with a spy. Repair four battleship life points every six seconds. So that's similar to that one. Uh, we've got this one, another life point one. Ooh. Now, so what do we go for? Do we go for pew pew with that one? Or do we go for long-term healing? Um, and they've all got different traits as well. So if we... Even though that says they're a scientist, I've got soldier on all of them, but they've got different traits. So we've got piloting, fighting, demolition, discretion, sharp senses, persuasion. What's that one? A, re a, re a reduction? Hack and engineering. So we've not got anyone that can do hacking. He can do engineering, erudition, and persuasion. What can you do? Persuasion, piloting, demolition, fighting, sharp sensors, discretion. Hmm. I quite like the idea of this one. Oh, oh, we can get more than one hero. Excellent. Which means I can have one that heals and one that does damage then. So, repair a crit I don't know what a critical effect is, though. So, we're just going to go for battleship life points. Okay, the team is ready. Okay, let's start then. Caliban, the clusters of the Outer Rim Admiral, the farthest clusters from the capital that there are. If there was ever a wasteland in our empire, this would be it. Strange, but so far I'm not detecting the presence of other Omnis. Even out here, I should be picking up dozens of them. Okay, so I guess... Do we need to do this entrance thing first, or do we travel here? No, we need to travel here. Sir, it looks to be some kind of beacon. 
It's a relay beacon, Admiral. From what I can tell, it isn't receiving or emitting any signal from the fold net. Is it broken? I don't think so. It just appears inactive. Okay, so we've got multiple choice questions. Ask him about the net. Ask him if he can reconnect. Send the team to investigate. Or push on deeper. Let's ask about the fold net, first of all. Tell me more about the fold net machine. My factual recall is still foggy. As you know, Admiral, Omnis have had invented and managed Empire tech since the dawn of the Empire. The fold net, one of the greatest achievement forms, the backbone of the Empire. Think of it as a global galactic network, allowing instant data or matter transmissions. Okay. Without the Omnis, of course, none of it would be possible. Right. Um, let's go back for a second. Let's investigate the beacon. Captain Lynch, form a small squadron and fly around the beacon. See what you can find. Of course, sir. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. Sir, the machine was right. The beacon isn't broken. It seems it just shut down. And by the looks of it, it's been off for a while. Very strange, sir. How long's a while? 10, 15 years. Wow. Okay. I'm not going to read all this text. I'm just going to go through it. Um... I don't like this Admiral, I don't like this one bit. Alright, let's ask him if he can reconnect it then. I can't. Oberon hasn't programmed me to do it, I'm merely programmed for my duties. Unfortunately, since it's Omnitech, no one in your crew can reconnect it either. Okay, right, let's push on deeper then. I'm more certain than ever that something's wrong, Admiral. I should have woken you far sooner. Let's push on. Someone around here has to know what's going on. Okay, so... Let's go back to the map. Choose your destination. Now, is that that then? So that's the station. No, that's a beacon, which is that one. Where's the station then? Is it in the same solar system? Oh, here we go. Looks to be an Imperial outpost. What's that noise? Any heat signatures? Non-Admiral. Let me guess, you're not picking up Omnis either. I'm not Admiral. Right. Uh, let's send the team of commandos in. Captain Lean, form the small team of commandos and check it out. Report back to your findings ASAP. You got it, sir. Okay. Sir, it's empty. Seems it was abandoned long ago. Long ago. Looks like the place has since been picked through. More than once, in fact. We found a few spur omni parts here and there. Servo motors, anti-grav generators, biosensors, but that's it. Looks like someone came here, took the most valuable omni parts. Neo and Ascent and Cask could be later. I can't even say that. The chips and left the rest behind. I'm getting a message. My commandos have found something. An Omni. It's intact, sir, from top to bottom. Apparently it was in a lower level. Guess whoever was here before didn't go down there. My men and women are no Omni experts. Maybe we should bring it in. Um. Okay. No need. You can plug your data pad into its X, 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 O sock. I guess that's its USB port. Do you see it? I see it. I'll take it remotely from here. So it's more like a novel, like a novel, like a chap uh, exploration story thing, this. Right, what can you tell me? It's strange. It's exo fame is perfectly in intact. There's plenty of neon and, and, and its chip is in place. It should be up and running. According to its chip, the Omni shut down 20, 20 years ago. Okay, I suppose you can't reactivate it. Unfortunately, no. Right, so what is, what is this Neo, Neo N? Is it a fuel source? Neo Neutramine. Hundreds of years ago, advanced machines discovered the existence of the final element. Extremely volatile in its natural state, we stabilized and Im improved on it, providing the powerful and longest lasting energy source yet. Neo N, as its chemically altered form is now known, gave rise to the Omni. Omni Mechanical Neo N Intelligence. So it's like an element and a fuel source. In addition, in addition to now being the one and only source of energy, it's used in about all tech. Okay, um, ask about the, ch the chip. The positronic chip, another Omni invention. Actually, no. The Emperor invented the chip, laying the foundation for all advanced machines. All Omnis, including me, have a chip like this. So why is this, this thing not deactivated then? It's also beyond your understanding, I'm afraid. Uh, the Positronic provides us with computing possibilities. In addition, the chip enforces our Rubicon. Okay, last, the chip also detects our function. Okay, let's go back. 
Um, we've already tried to... Let's try and find a civilian. Malfunctioning beacon, an abandoned outpost, an inactive omni. I don't like where this is heading. Let's push on. There's got to be someone around here who can tell us what in the name of Oberon is going on. Right, let's navigate. Mm-hmm. All right, so we need to go to a different beacon now, I'm guessing. So let's go to this one. So I'm, uh, it's sort of... I'm getting little niggles of FTL with this, with navigating to different areas. I don't know if it's the right or wrong choice. What the heck is that? <laughs> Picking up a ship. What kind of ship? I couldn't say, sir. There's no match in our data system. Incoming transmission. An imperial ship made from delicious Telus tech. What are you doing out here all alone? This is Admiral Idaho of the Imperial Fleet. Identify yourself. Imperial territory. That's a good one, Admiral. This isn't imperial territory. This is our territory. Are these like the Borg? The ship's ready to attack. To your battle stations, we've got a live one. Our first battle, I was wondering when that might happen. Okay, prepare to fight. The battle is imminent. Good luck, Admiral. How are we going to fight this, then? Okay, let me guide you through your first fight, Admiral. Um, NS Od Od Odysseus technology is not like anything you've encountered. Everything you see here is a tactical production. Connected in real time to your mind via Neurocon. This is technical interface was created to simplify and optimize your decision making process. Okay. As a human, your brain has limited abilities. Focus points represent the number of actions you're capable of. Each decision consumes these points. Once used, it's it. So basically, it's action points. Uh, to deploy a squadron unit, you must lock uh, one fully charged focus point. It represents the effect needed to maintain an active Neuralink. Uh, once the, the squadron has been deployed, each additional order, such as moving, attacking, or charge... Okay, so how, many, so how many points have I actually got? To deploy a weapon, you must lock one fully charged focus point. Once the weapon, weapon's been deployed, firing it will consume an amount. Okay. To deploy a specialist officer to his or her station, again, you must lock one fully charged point. Once deployed, your officer will automatically act on their own, using their unique abilities. So that's what we want to do. Your neural interface also allows you to slow slow time down to a point where it seems totally still. So that's just basically turned into turn-based. Okay, so what do I do? So that's him, that's me. Right. So I think we need to deploy a squadron. So what have we got? We've got weapons, we've got squadrons, we've got heroes. Um... Let's deploy my um, captain there, and let's deploy. Now, what should we deploy? Fighters, drones, or cruisers? Let's just set. Let's send the fighters out, and at the front there. And we've got we've got a weapon still we can deploy. So what's this one? Pierce laser. Let's deploy that. I think the tutorial for this could be a little bit better. I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing. I've deployed all my weapons. I've got three points and I've used three points. So let's press space to resume. Okay, this is cool. My gun's deployed. I've got my squadron over there. So I now need to move these over here. And what about my weapons? My weapon's charging. I can see that. Right, we want to try and engage these. Okay. We are trying to engage them. We are engaging them. The weapon's still charging. Um, I think my weapon just fired. Right, let's go over here. And try... Ooh! Wait a minute. So how do I fire my weapon then? I've got two points. Do I need to click on his... Uh... There we go. I should. Ha 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 ha. Nice. I'm shooting. Oh, there's his health up there. Look. My weapon's recharging again. Ow. Fight report. Victory. Good job, Admiral. Here's the summary of the battle. Um, We survived. 
What was that creature, Admiral? I don't know, Lieutenant, but something tells me we'll be seeing more of their kind. Let's go. There's got to be someone around here who knows what's going on. And hopefully someone who won't try to kill us. So this is pretty interesting. This is, uh, it's, it's, it's a lot different than I thought it was going to be with the, uh, the combat. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. Now we've got a thing here that says upgrades. So it looks like we can get upgrades once we get scrap points. But I assume this is, is this scrap points? We've got Neo and Fuel. Oh, we've got no scrap at the moment. So we do need to get scrap. Right, let's do, I'm going to go for one more location. Um, just see if we can find something else. Right, so we're going to go to Kerberon. This is a new planet. Okay, if my sensors are correct, there should be a colony down there. Can you make contact? Working on it. Admiral incoming transmission. Do we have survivors? Hello, this is Admiral Ellis Idaho of the Imperial Fleet. Thanks, Oberon. I thought you might be a scraper. A scraper? Is that what those things back there were called? Who am I speaking with? I am Tegan Bowie, leader of my small colony. What can I do for you, Admiral? If it's scrap you're after, I'm sorry, but we have none to spare. We're not here for handouts. We're here to find out what's going on in these clusters. To find out what's going on? What do you mean, Admiral? Um, let's see. What can I ask about? Let's ask about Omnis, then. We found a Foldnet beacon unlinked, an Imperial outpost abandoned, and we've yet to see a single active Omni. What's going on? Is this some sort of sick joke? Sick joke? What? You really don't know what's going on in these clusters. In the name of Oberon, I swear you, I swear to you that we do not. Now tell me what is going on. They they shut down, Admiral. What shut down? Our Omnis, all of Omnis shut down. What? That's impossible. That's why the beacon isn't working and this outpost has been abandoned. The Omnis shut down. And when they did, so did the fold net. Now all of its folders and beacons, all of it, useless. I, I don't believe you. The Omnis have never shut down before. But it's the truth, I swear to you. I have no reason to lie. How? When? I have no idea how it happened, Admiral. I'm not sure anyone does. It's the great mystery of our time. As for when, 20 years ago. 20 years ago, almost to the day, the Omnis shut down here at once and without warning. You've been with, living without Omnis for 20 years. Living? No, not really. We've been dying in these clusters since they left and in great numbers. We ride on the Omnis for everything, Admiral. Everything. Our medicine, our food, our weather, even for meaning in our lives. It's hard to give accurate numbers, but estimates are that 75% of the population died off in the first five years alone. Now who knows how many of us are left after 20 years? 10%? Less? We're just barely hanging on. I ask you, Admiral, how could we have let ourselves get into this position? How could we have been so dependent, so vulnerable, so stupid? The truth is, something I'm jealous of the dead. Oh, sometimes I'm jealous of the dead. It's terrible to say I'm jealous because they no longer have to suffer. Sir Admiral, that's what's going on. The Omni shut down here and we're all alone. I don't know what to say. Uh, ask how we can help them. Oh no, let's ask about the ship. We encounter the ship, they attacked us for no reason. Who are these people? What do they want? People is probably an understatement. That was most likely a scraper ship, Admiral. The scrapers are a group of hideous tumor covered scavengers who collect Omni Tech and Neo N. When the Omni shut down, causing it to collapse, they were the ones who took over in the pandemonium. They're not the only rat, rot, rotten apples around here with your pirates and whatnot, but they're definitely the worst. They defeated the Imperial ships. How? House Telos Tech is second to none, and Imperial captains are the best trained. It's true, but the Scarifer ships wore them down, picked off one here and another one there. Plus, the Empire couldn't send reinforcements, not with the fold net being down. Some colonies like ours have managed to stave off mo mother's attacks. Mother's? And then enslavement, but I don't think we can much longer. I hate to say it. I think it's a matter of time until they make slave us all. Yeah, what's mother? You don't want to know, Admiral. For some reason, that's what they call her, the leader, mother, mommy. It's upsetting. From what I gather, mother started the scrapers, fostering a punk. Anna Anarchal, I can't even say it. Yeah, made some pirates. Who makes up the ranks? A lot of former Imperial prisoners, I think. When the fold net went down, a lot managed to escape. Um, what mother loves is her tech, especially Telos tech, and she'll kill you for it. Enjoy doing it too. Mother's been terrorizing these sectors for years, enslaving men and women to make them into her playthings and baby makers. Okay, I don't, I don't want to learn anymore. Um, yeah, I don't want to know anymore. Right, let's ask how we can help them. What can I do? Defeating mother and her scrapers would be a nice start. Things would look a lot better with those scum out of the way. Even if you eradicate those, it doesn't really solve anything. We'll still die. We'll still die unless... 
You find a way to reactivate the Omnis. Yes, that's what we need to do. How can we do that? You're asking the wrong guy. Maybe you have to first figure out who or what shut them down. There are a lot of theories out there. Okay, let's end the conversation then. We'll try on both accounts. We'll kill these scrapers and we'll get your Omnis up and running again. You say that, but you'll fail or you'll stop sooner or later. Or worse, you'll die. They all do, Cap Admiral. You're not the first fancy Imperial ship to make that promise to me. I can assure you there's no other ship out there as capable as ours. I've heard that before too. Okay, I don't want our young people to become a... Yes, if there's one thing I've learned in the wake of the shutdown, no one can save you but yourself. Take this Admiral, you'll need it. Okay, so he's given me a... Uh, plus three outcome summary. Oh, that's a... Um, Bowie out. Transmission over, Admiral. Do you believe what he said? Is it true? Have they shut down? Hard is it to believe? I think, yes, it does explain everything. We've seen these clusters. The Omnis are not active here to manage it. What do we do now? We can't figure out how to activate the Omnis, can we? What? We're going to return to Genia. No, we do what I promise. We do our Imperial duty. We eliminate these scrapers, any other Imperial enemy we come across, and we reactivate the Omnis in these sectors. That's what we do. Impressive dedication, Admiral. Now enough babbling. Open the star map by clipping, clicking on the button below and choose our next destination. And that is where I'm going to leave it. So, wow, that's pretty... This is pretty exciting. I don't have a clue what's going on. We've got, like, some... We've got some... I thought it was aliens, but it turns out it's actually escaped prisoners. The whole fold net shut down. And, yeah, that's pretty exciting. So, yeah, this is Crying Sons. This is on Kickstarter. There's 30 days to go before they actually want to get this backed. And, yeah, pretty fun. I'm, I'm liking the... Um, I'm liking the feel of it and the graphics for it. It's really cool. Anyway, that's all I'm going to show you for now. So if you do want to see some more of this on the channel, let me know in the comments box below and I'll show you some more. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm Shirley Rocks. See you next time.